Welcome back. Today we are going to learn about simplifying algebraic expressions. Now before we uh, begin, I'm going to uh, kind of review some of the terminology you'll need to know for uh, today's lesson. Uh, terms. A term is basically a number, a variable, or a variable being multiplied by a number. Um, and we have algebraic terms. These are terms that have um, a variable with a coefficient would be like your number. So if you have 3x, that is an algebraic term, and the 3 is your coefficient. Um, you could have a numeric term, and that's just like if you have the number 8. That's a numerical or a numeric term. Um, like terms are terms that either have, uh, they're both numbers, like they're both numeric terms, like 5 and 3, are like terms. They can be added together. If they have the same variable, like um, 3x and uh, 6x, they both have an x as their variable, therefore they can be, uh, they're like terms, therefore you can add them together. I have 3x's, I have 6x's, uh, and I can add these together and I have a total of 9x. And so uh, that is, uh, you can uh, you can uh, add like terms together. Um, so we're going to be uh, working with expressions that have uh, like terms and we're going to simplify them uh, by adding the like terms and uh, once we have all the like terms added then we'll go ahead and we'll be done. Let's begin. Uh, let's say we have uh, 3m plus 5m plus 7. Well in this case, we only have one number that is a numeric term, uh, and then the rest are algebraic terms, and they both have an m, so it means I can add these together. 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 what? 8 m's. Whatever m may be, we have 8 of them, and we plus 7, we add 7, and this is our simplified expression. So 3m plus 5m plus 7 can be simplified to 8m plus 7. It is just that easy. Let's go ahead and try another one. Let's say, in this case, we have 0.6x plus 0.2x plus 2 plus 5. All right, in this case, we have um, a couple sets of like terms. We have uh, 2 and 5 can be added together to get 7. And we can add uh, our x's together because they are the same variable. 0 0.2 plus 0 0.6 would get us 0.8x. And that would be our answer here. That's, it. That's all you have to do to simplify it. You're going to add like terms. You may have one set of like terms. You may have two sets. You may have a lot of sets of like terms. But you can add them together and therefore simplify them. We've seen them with... Uh, decimals. We've seen them with whole numbers. You can have them with fractions as well. In this case, we have uh, 5 sevenths y minus 3 sevenths y minus 3. So in this case, uh, the 3 has no one else with him, so he'll just come right back down here, minus 3. And here I'm going to uh, not add but I want to subtract like terms. You can do that as well. So 5 minus 3 is 2. So 2 sevenths. 2 sevenths what? 2 sevenths y. So I have 2 sevenths y minus 3. So again, in this case, we have like terms. However, they are fractions. And since they have like denominators, we can just add them together, or in this case, subtract them. And uh, that's how we would simplify our algebraic expression. Let's try a couple more. Uh, we'll try to make, sometimes you're going to have uh, more than just two terms, like terms, in uh, one expression. Like in this case, we're going to have 0.2p plus 0.5p plus, uh, minus 0.4p. So we want to find out how much p we have. Yeah. Okay. So um, 
we're going to go ahead and we are going to uh, add these together. I have uh, 0 0.2 plus 0 0.5 is 0 0.7p minus the 0 0.4p. Now I'm going to subtract 0 0.7 minus 0 0.4 will get me 0.3p. And so I can simplify that down to uh, just 0.3p. You guys are doing great. Hope this is making perfect sense to you. Once you get the hang of algebra and you realize it's not that bad, I think you'll find that uh, algebra is a lot of fun. Almost, almost a bit of a math game. All right, number five. Let's try this one. What if I have um, 10 n minus 5 n plus 3 p. Now this is very similar to the uh, first problem we had except for instead of having uh, two terms that are like algebraic terms and then a numeric term where we had the uh, uh, 3 n plus 5 n plus 7. In this case we have uh, two sets of algebraic terms that are different. Um, and so we can uh, deal with the like terms the n's, so 10n minus 5n, just 10 minus, 10 minus 5 is 5, so 5n, and then plus 3p. And since we don't know what p and n is, we cannot add them together. Think of it as uh, n could be nickels and p could be pickles. You cannot add the nickels and pickles together. They're just separate. So we end up with just 5n plus 3p. And that is how simplified it can be. It can't be any more simplified than that. Okay, here is our last example of just simplifying expressions. And I have one more thing we're going to do after that. All right, what if we have, for number 6, we have uh, 1 fourth a plus 1 third a minus 2 fifths b minus one tenth b. Well, the very first thing I think we need to do is I think we need to find common denominators. Now, you only have to do the common denominators within the like terms. It doesn't matter if a and b are common denominators because you can't add them together. We only need to worry about the a's and, on a separate note, we need to worry about the b's. So for the, uh, the, the one fourth and one third, we can make this uh, twelfths. So uh, I did 4 times 3 is 12, so 1 times 3 is 3 twelfths. Plus, uh, again, this is going to be twelfths A. Uh, 3 times 4 is 12, therefore 1 times 4 is 12. Then I'm going to have uh, minus. Well, with the uh, fifths and tenths, we can, make them out of, we can make it a tenth as our common denominator. So 5 times 2 is 10, therefore 2 times 2 is 4. So we have 4 tenths b minus the uh, uh, 1 tenth b. Now, me personally, I get myself very confused when I have all sorts of negative signs here. So I want to make it easier for myself. I'm going to make this a plus negative and a plus negative. This is something that we learned when we were doing subtracting integers. This way I have them all as addition, it's commutative, I can go in any order I feel, and I know what is negative and I know what is positive. This is just something I do to help organize myself. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to add these together. 4 plus 3 is 7, so I have 7 twelfths A plus uh, negative 4D plus negative 1D gets me negative 3 tenths b. I don't know if I was saying d, but, uh, and I know that uh, the uh, the eighth grade teacher at our school, she much rather see it in the form of a minus, a subtraction sign, so I'm going to go ahead and write it that way as our final answer. 7 twelfths a minus 3 tenths b. They're both correct, although this would be the better way of uh, writing your answer, is getting rid, of, getting rid of your negative signs, if at all possible. Okay, so it kind of makes it cleaner, I, I suppose. Okay, uh, this is how you're going to go ahead and do simplifying algebraic expressions. Now, 
I am going to show you one other problem, just because I know that my students have a problem like this. Whoa, I have no idea what I just did there. Let's try this again. And so I want to, uh, I'll just put this over here. And for our last set of the problems, we're going to do uh, find the perimeter of each figure. Find the perimeter of each figure. All right, so uh, we'll do this. We're going to go ahead and just make a triangle for number uh, one here. I don't know how accurate this will be, but we'll do this, this, and this. All right, good enough. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. All right, so actually, I'll move this back over here. So let's go ahead and identify the lengths. We're going to say this is... Uh, 5.1 x yards, 3.2 x yards, and then 6.3 x yards. And we need to find the perimeter. So when well, we're doing a perimeter problem, Let's just keep, don't get freaked out because you see, you know, variables in here. It's, it's as easy as you remember it. Perimeter is just, in this case, going to equal side plus side plus side. And we just plug in our numbers. Again, whenever I have a problem that can use a formula, I always write down my formula and just plug in the values. It will keep me from being lazy and making mistakes. So when I have 3.2x plus 5.1x plus 6.3x. I'm going to add these together. So um, again, to help me avoid not making errors, I'm going to do them two at a time. You can go all the way across if you like. I, I want to be confident in my answer. So 3.2 plus 5.1 is going to give me 8.3x plus 6.3x. And then I'm going to have... Uh, I'm going to add these together, and I'm going to have 8.3 plus 6.3 is going to get me 14.6x, and i got to make sure I label it, yards, because we're looking at perimeter. That is the solution. I hope this was uh, very helpful for you. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. I'm going to move this up here so it's not in your way. Have a great day.